Right, so this one then, root 3 plus root 2 to the power 5. Uh, we want to write it in this form and find a and b. So we want to write it as a root 3 plus b root 2. So that's question 15 then. We've got power 5, so let's do Pascal's triangle. Here we go, the fourth row. Oh. And then the fifth row. We need the fifth row, don't we? But I'm just going to try and move it over slightly. There we are. And then the fifth row. 10, 10, 5, and 1. There's our fifth row. Now, we've got the first term is root 3. So it will be root 3 to the power of 5, 1, 2. Then root 3 to the power of 4. Root 3 squared. Root 3 itself. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then root 3 to the power 1. And then we do the root 2 in the opposite direction. So it will be root 2 to the 5 here. Then descend the powers to the 4, 2 cubed, and then root 2 squared, and then root 2 to power 1. And then we can combine the terms, so I'll just pencil that in, that one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and the last one. Okay, root 3 to the 5. Root 3 to the 4 is 9, so it's 9 root 3. Here, uh, root 3 to the 4 is 9, times 5 is 45, so it's 45 root 2. Next one, this is 2, isn't it? 2 times 10 is 20. There's a 3 come out from two of these, so it's 20 times 3 is 60. And there's still a root 3 left, isn't there, because it's power cubed, power 3. Here, this is 3, agreed, root 3 squared is 3, 3 tens and 30. We can bring a 2 out from here to make 60, and there's still a root 2 left. So that's that one. Next one, um, root 2 to the 4 is none other than 4, 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 5 is 20, so that's 20 root 3, 20 root 3. And then the last term is root 2 to the 5. Root 2 to the 4 is 4. So it's 2 squared, and times another root 2, so it's 4 root 2. That's what we seem to have then. We should have 6 terms, shouldn't we? So let's just make sure we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, no problem. So how many root 2s have we got? 45, 60, and 4. Yeah, 45, 60, and 4. That's 105, 109. 109 root 2. And then root 3's 9. I managed to count the root 3 there, but it was still a 60. Um, so we've got 9 root 3's, 60 root 3's is 150, uh, 69. And then another 20 is 89. Okay, now together, well, let's just check that again. So we've got 45 and 60 is 105, 109 is root 2s, root 3s is 9, 69, 89, that's it. So what did we want? We wanted a root 2, a root 3 plus b root 2. So a root 3s, a is equal to 89, and b equals 109. Okay, just to get it the right way around. Okay then, 